The battle for Roger Moore's millions, bitter war breaks out over family fortune between his widows s. He plagued James Bond with tongue-in-cheek insouciance and a permanently raised eyebrow a. Eh? And if anyone embodied the high life imagined for 007 by his creator Ian Fleming, it must surely have been Sir Roger Moore. At the time of his death, in May 2017 at the age of 89, he had an apartment in Monte Carlo, a flat in London's Eden Square and a ski chalet in Crans Montana, Switzerland. The combined worth of his homes is said to have been more than pound 30 million, and the actor was reputedly worth about pound 80 million in all. Latterly, he shared a blissful life of luxury with his fourth wife, a petite blonde Danish socialite called Christina, widely known as Kiki. They had been together since 1994, after Sir Roger supported the widow you a friend of his then wife Louisa you in her recovery from breast cancer, and they fell deeply in love. Kiki is my soulmate, he would say. We are only ever a the couple would potter in the Bentley from their Monaco apartment overlooking the beach at Larvato to L.E. Michelangelo and Fontbier for a seafood lunch, eh? In the evenings, they dined at the Hotel de Paris with friends including Prince Albert and his wife, Charlene. They were regulars on the London social scene, too, at red carpet and A-list events. Naturally, this being Sir Roger's fourth marriage, there were naysayers you particularly Louisa, his third wife, a fiery Italian actress to whom he was married for 27 years. She was deeply wounded and bitter at having been dumped for Kiki, who had been in the more social circle as they had neighboring homes in the south of France. Louisa would characterize her replacement as a hanger on who's had two husbands and three facelifts. Over time, though, Kiki developed warmer relations with Sir Roger's three grown-up children by Louisa, Jeffrey, Debbie, and Christian, A. Eh? The statement they issued to announce their father's death included the line Our thoughts must now turn to supporting Christina at this difficult time. Two years on, thrice-widowed Kiki, now 77, is still going through a difficult time, albeit for different reasons. Indeed. An extraordinary family row is being played out in public in the Danish press you via court documents and a shocking exchange of letters you with kick his son Hans Christian Knudsen, 53, claiming that his mother is being charmed and her funds depleted to the tune of millions by her lawyer. Ultimately, what may be at stake is the fortune Sir Roger left in his will. Kiki has responded to her son's allegations by saying that Hans Christian is a near-do-well who has never worked and is angry because she has cut off his allowance. She told the Mail this week I have done only clean things, so I am not really involved in any of this at all, eh? Asked about her son, she emitted a sound somewhere between a deep sigh and a groan. But allegations, these allegations center on three transactions revealed to a court in Monaco which has you extraordinarily you put Sir Roger's widow into a guardianship as a result, eh? This deprives Kiki of control of her estate on the grounds that she might have been taken advantage of. There is pound 2.2 million that was transferred to a trust in New Zealand last year, a gift of pound 479,000 to a Danish expat couple who are friends of Kikis, and legal fees for her handsome lawyer, 63-year-old Pertroen, who, according to court documents, charged pound 155,000 for his services from November 2017 to December 2018. He is also said, so far, the issues involve Kikis' personal fortune, which probably stands at about pound 5 million you she owned property and had two immensely wealthy husbands before she met Sir Roger you but friends warn of wider implications. Kiki, a car dealer's daughter, was first married to Hans Christian Knudsen, a fur and leather manufacturer. They met when she was working as an air hostess, married in 1962 and had a son you also Hans Christian you and a daughter, Christina. They lived grandly in the family mansion, summoning servants to the dining table by ringing a bell. In 1975, though, 
Hans Christian the Elder killed himself after suffering business losses and being accused of tax evasion. Kiki was left with, she wasn't on her own long, though, marrying O.L.E. Tholstrup, the heir to a butane gas fortune, in 1978. Her second marriage took her into the top stratum of Danish society. A Tholstrup was friends with the late Prince Henrik, husband of the Queen of Denmark, and they would go hunting and shooting together. The Tholstrups became a fixture at Danish royal parties. O.L.E., a relative of restaurateur Mogens Tholstrup, who once dated Tara Palmer Tomkinson, inherited pound 35 million when his father died, and the family moved to the south of France to avoid punitively high Danish taxes. The children were sent to boarding school, with Hans Christian enrolled at Herlofsholm, the Eden of Denmark, a. Eh? According to family friends, the separation led to a somewhat strained relationship between Kiki and her children. Her daughter, Christina, once said in an interview that O.L.E. was verbally abusive to his stepchildren. He was also an al- Kiki didn't inherit his whole pound 50 million fortune, much of which went to his children by a previous marriage, A. Eh? But she did get a flat in London, the house in France and a financial settlement. Kiki then married Sir Roger and they moved to Monaco. It was reported that Sir Roger's divorce from Louisa cost him pound 10 million, and his children didn't attend the nuptials in order not to hurt their mother's feelings. His son, Geoffrey, said at the time none of us can forget that Kiki was my mother's friend and was welcomed in our home. Over the years that followed, however, it seems that Sir Roger and Kiki you or Lady Christina, as she preferred to be called, you built bridges with their adult children. A family friend in Denmark said it was Moore who persuaded Kiki to work on improving her relationship with her children. In 2016, Kiki's daughter Christina died of cancer at the age of 47. A. Both Sir Roger and her mother were at her bedside in the UK. You and Christina's brother Hans Christian says he was also with her, holding her hand, as she died. Hans Christian was by then married to a prominent Danish lawyer, Henriette Grenab. The couple have two, he is a marine biologist and is said to have been involved in the wine business, but now describes his job as import-export. The first public signs of a rift between Kiki and her son came a week ago in an article in the Danish tabloid newspaper Extra Bladet, which noted that Kiki had been placed under financial guardianship in Monaco after paying out large gifts and legal fees. She is appealing against the guardianship ruling and the matter will return to court next month. The article also claimed Kiki had been introduced to her lawyer, her Troen, by Karsten and Kate Hasselhage, expat Danish friends living in France, in June 2017, just a month after Sir Roger died. She is alleged to have given the Hasselhages a large gift in gratitude for their friendship with her late daughter. She also, via her lawyer, invested pound 2.2 million in a trust in New Zealand, it was reported. In a letter apparently from Kiki to Petroen, quoted in the article, she expressed deep concern about where her money was. Kiki hit back with a two-page typewritten letter to Extra Bladet in which she described Petroen as a long-standing trusted friend of my late daughter and myself since the 90s. She added I have absolute trust in him and am, for the first time in my life, in charge of my own affairs with the family office, my lawyers, and banks, and have not been defrauded, A. Eh? Your information must have come from my son, Hans Christian Knudsen, who out of self-interestedness has tried to suggest that I am not of sound mind, A. Eh? This is not true. I know exactly, the letter from October 2018 that your article refers to expressing concern about the fund, addressed to Petroen and signed by me, was written by my son Hans. I was forced to sign, Kiki added the whole nasty mess which this case has cost me comes about only because I just stopped paying my son his allowance. I have for years supported my son and paid for almost everything he wanted. I love my son and wanted for him to work for himself. He never has and he did not, 
but rather has cost me a good deal of grief and expense by making untrue allegations. On Thursday, Hans Christian wrote a letter in response. He said he believed, unfortunately, the letter also shows that my mother signs anything Petro and puts to her, without completely understanding the consequences. Hans Christian claims his mother is being deprived of her fortune after a police investigation as well as a thorough process conducted in court, the court in Monaco has ruled that these massive and inexplicable money transfers be stopped immediately. The court therefore, I have from October 2017 until October 2018 repeatedly sat down with my mother and tried to explain the seriousness of the situation to her.